The bike is the weapon of choice for cycling's modern-day Spartacus. In the hands of Fabian Cancellara, it's as deadly as a gladiator's sword. It's sport. It's a competition. It counts that you win. At the end of the year, they ask you if you won or not, and I prefer to say yes. And win he certainly has, in spades. Cancellara is arguably the greatest all-round talent of his generation. A time trial monster whose extensive palmares include stints in the coveted yellow jersey, not to mention multiple victories in three of cycling's five monuments. Having recently turned 33, Spartacus is in the prime of his career, and new challenges beckon. The world hour record is in his sights this year. But how about a tilt at becoming only the fourth rider in history to take all five monuments? I have the dream to win the five monuments, but a race like Liège is, is getting more and more not possible because first they're changing every year now, the parkour every year. And on the other hand, uh, it's just a climbing race and that doesn't really suit me. And to prepare this kind of race, I mean, it will take me a lot and I'm, I think I'm already sacrificed a lot in my life and to sacrifice even more and more and more for this, I don't know, because I want to live life as well, because this is the, the balance I need. Of course, now the next few years, there are some goals, I mean, there are some dreams, but um, everything will be step by step. With such an already glittering resume and admiration from within the peloton, it's certainly a view that can be respected. Of course, Cancellara's crowning achievement so far came in 2013, when he joined Tom Bonin as the only men to win the Flanders-Roubaix double twice. The Belgian had written a new chapter in the history of cobbled races the year before, a forgettable year for Cancellara that saw him sidelined with a broken collarbone. The curators of cycling history might point to the fact that neither rider achieved those triumphs with their main adversary present in the battle, a view which Cancellara certainly dismisses. You can only defeat who's in front of you on the day. It's all about winning in sports. And then later, and really later, 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 it comes to maybe a point where you can say, OK, where's, where's there all the best riders or a few ones who is was missing and this and that. But on the end, you have so many other riders as well. They are strong and it's always the strongest are there. I know that the world wants to see this challenge from me and Tom, but on the other hand, I'm not looking into these rival things because um, when I just fix on him and then there's other ones, they can maybe win because I made me make mistakes because I'm concentrating on one person. But the race is not just one person. The race is a whole bunch of riders. They're there with 10, 15 riders they can win. Cancellara's results come partly from the natural talent he's blessed with, but success is achieved only when coupled with hard work and meticulously studying the finer detail, a fact he's keen to emphasize when it comes to the Ronde van Flanderen. In Flanders, it took me years. It took me years and years and years until I could reach the top because that's, in my opinion, it's the most difficult race somehow, because you have a race that lives for itself. You have cobbles climb, climb without cobbles, small roads, different tactics, different ways the race can develop, and you have the weather, you have, uh, you have even the, the public, the people, the country that lives for that. That's, that's all little details that in one race you will have. Since I started professional, I came up, but really slow, because on the end, uh, 2010 was my first win and when I see I won Roubaix in 2006 the first time uh, that's four years differences but they are two the two biggest classic races we have on the calendar the most well-known races and uh, four years differences to win one to another I mean that's that's a lot of time but on the end now when I see I have two doubles I mean it's not bad as well <laughs> Another year older, another year wiser. But could a historic triple-double be in the offing for Cancellara? We'll find out for sure after the first instalment of the Cobbled Monuments this weekend.